Lots of folks treat their pets like family. And why not? They're better conversationalists than anyone in my family, and you don't even have to pay to send them to college. But unlike, or perhaps exactly like, humans, their natural curiosity can often lead them to stray too far from home without knowing how to get back. Now, old school callers with the name and address of the owner were once the only real solution. But now, thank you, technology! Many pet owners are opting to inject a microchip inside their pet as well. But what are the benefits over just having information written on the collar? I mean, that seems simpler, not to mention less painful. Well, one of the biggest advantages of the microchip is that it's more or less a set it and forget it solution. While collars can obviously get damaged, come loose, or even end up caught in a tree branch leading to a slow, painful death by strangulation, microchips are injected by a shockingly fat needle under the fatty layer of your animal's skin. And since they have no moving components or batteries, they typically don't need to be replaced as long as the animal lives. Just like the NFC pads that we showed off here, the chip receives enough energy from the machine used to scan it that it doesn't need any kind of internal power source. Another reason they can just hang out under your pet's skin indefinitely is that microchips are usually enclosed in an inert material such as glass so that your pet's body won't react to it negatively. In fact, some enclosures are even made of a special polymer that can induce tissue growth around the microchip helping to hold it in place, which I wish they had done on my cat whose microchip migrated to his sternum, forcing me to get a new one for his fancy cat door. Oh yeah, there's another benefit I didn't cover yet. A microchip reader equipped pet door lets you keep raccoons and strays out of your house while saving you the headache of listening to your pets whining or scratching at the door. Mine can even be programmed to let both of my cats in, but only one of them out. And I'd imagine that future models will even add functionality like scheduling that can keep them in at night or especially around Halloween time. That would be a useful one. Of course, small RFID chips like these can't hold enough information on their own. So instead, each chip gets a unique ID number that is linked to contact information for both the owner and the regular veterinarian. This ID number and contact info are registered with one of several different agencies, meaning that the owner of a lost pet can be contacted quickly before a shelter has to spend money to house and feed your pet or worse, have it euthanized. Some databases will even store your pet's medical history. So if your pet gets lost, whichever shelter picks it up can check to see if your furry friend has any special needs. And at 30 to 60 US dollars for a microchip that's good for as long as your pet will live, it's generally a pretty economical option for some long-term peace of mind. But microchips aren't infallible. For one thing, microchipping technology hasn't been fully standardized yet, meaning that not all shelters or veterinarians have the correct scanners to read your pet's microchip. There have even been isolated cases of animals being put to sleep because a shelter couldn't find a microchip when the real issue was that the chip was in fact present, but their scanning equipment just wasn't compatible. Owners also need to be vigilant about contacting the appropriate microchip registry to update their pet's information if they change addresses or contact information, or if there's a significant change with their health issues, as none of that is done automatically. So for that reason, many humane societies and animal welfare organizations recommend that you use a microchip as a backup to a traditional caller with human readable contact information. But, the high reliability of pet microchip technology with a failure rate of less than one in a million means that many places are even also mandating that newly adopted pets be microchipped. So be sure to have this done if you have a dog or a cat or a, I don't know, turtle? Can they do that? Especially if you think that your pet is a flight risk because it resents your new robot dog or whatever. Microchips might have issues with being read by different readers, but you know what doesn't? 
a site built on Squarespace. All of Squarespace's beautiful templates are completely compatible thanks to their responsive design with a wide variety of devices. Everything from the little one in your pocket all the way up to your TV if you so desired. And Squarespace makes it easy for pretty much anyone to build a website. You just pick your template, you gussy it up, you add your text, you drag and drop things, you go, okay, I wanna see what it looks like, and bam, it's all done in the cloud, and it's simple. And if you're not finding it simple, don't feel bad. They've got 24 seven support via live chat and email to help you through it. They've got all kinds of great tools and you get to use them for just 12 bucks a month with a free domain thrown in if you buy Squarespace for the year. Commerce is built in with every website. Their cover pages feature allows you to set up a beautiful one page online presence in minutes. They've got, this is new actually, free SSL on all Squarespace websites to keep your connection with your visitors secure and you can start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today by heading over to Squarespace and using offer code TECHQUICKIE, which will let you save 10% off of your first purchase. So thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment with video suggestions. Yes, that's right. Check out our other channels wherever the heck they're linked. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.